A planet where the seas are filled with sand. A world where beasts live as men. A world where men are ruled by beasts. Hello everybody, this is Beastcat, and welcome back to some more Signs of Destruction. In the last episode, well, we killed Rajiv, and we lost three times to- Three times? Two times to Lupus Rex. And this story has kind of turned to a dark side, so it's very, um, it's just very, very dark. However, I know this time, this time, however, this time... However, this time, I know that we will beat him, only because I have recorded this already. <laughs> I wanted to try it. Anyway, I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday, I'm feeling a lot more talkative, so... I think we should get a move on. Um... Unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of talking in this. Well, well that's not very unfortunate. Uh, it is. Let me. Um. Let's go. Luckily, um, or unluckily, depending on what, how you feel. I. Da, 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 da. You're the greatest. There's gonna be a lot of talking from me, and a lot of talking from the cutscenes. There isn't gonna. No, sorry. There isn't going to be many cutscenes in this one, so I apologize if that's what you look forward to. Oh. So. You always were a tomboy. So, things are looking bleak at first, don't be alarmed, um, after the second time I kinda got a handle on how he works, either that or just the computer decided to be nice, you know, uh, I guess either one is possible at this point, hold on, I am going to, I, uh, I have an apple with me, so I am going to eat the apple. Okay, now this is annoying. With the blade warp. What that does is he is immune to physical attacks. So any damage from physical attacks whatsoever, including ultimates, for three to five turns. You can't hit him at all. Um... So he is going to be able to attack us all he wants for these turns, and we can't make a dent of him unless we use our magic attacks. Now, computer, does that seem fair? No. Of course not. So stop doing it. But as I said before, Everything seems to be seems to be going a lot more smoothly, so should be better. You see, there any physical attack I do? Nothing, but if we use magic, it does damage. 
And here's the other thing. If you're going to be technical about it, Toby's fists are fists. They're not blades. And the spell was specifically called Blade Ward. So if you really want to be picky, technically Toby should be able to damage him. But that's just me. That's me making an observation. But, who cares? And so he uses this again. Actually, I think this is the turn when um, we can attack him again. So that's good. So today, today was a very good day. Hold on, this is for tomorrow. Fudge, didn't work. I'm speaking for myself. Um, this is how I work. Yesterday and today we performed children's theater for basically what children's theater is is the elementary, the fifth graders. This actually this is fifth graders from all the elementary schools around our district come to the high school where um, we, the theater class, theater one, and theater two, we perform a a performance for the for the children. And this year we decided to do fairy tale courtroom. Um, and as for that. What happens there is the witch and the big bad wolf are put on trial for their, uh, and I quote, various offenses. Um, I got to play the badger and I also got to play the scarecrow, who ultimately were both ruled incompetent in the end, so... Ah, like father, like son. Oops. Here, you're doing good so far. Not so tough for the leader of the pack. Like father, like son. Somebody's coming, we need to go. Good call. The seagull should be moored up, moored up top, let's hurry. You. I, Exit stage left. I almost said that. <laughs> After them, tell the men on the other floors to join the chase. Sir. And aren't they so nice? Do we have to go throughout this entire thing again just to get back up top? They don't even let us. They don't even teleport us up there. Figures. But, you know, things as it is, uh, I guess I can't complain. Or I can, but, you know, somebody's going to get tired of it. Let's just play it safe. What was he saying? Yeah. So both of my characters were ruled incompetent in the end. What, for those of you who are illiterate... Um... Let me, let me put that in a nicer way. For those of you who don't know what that means... Incompetent means... Your mind, uh, I guess I'm the one that's a little because I don't know what it means either. But I get the gist of it. It means that your mind is not working correctly at that point, so any of your testimony can't be used because you're an idiot. That's the basis of it because you're an idiot. So, I all we really do have to do now is get out of here. That's let's go. That's the only job left that I have to do, and then after that we can move on. We can get back to Felix Rex and all that. But right now, I guess it's um I switched out Ogin so he can get some training, get some points to upgrade his moves, so he can. Do the um, do the combos too, because the more 
The sooner we can get that, the faster these battles will be, especially for what's coming up later. Ugh. It's a long maze. It really is. And... Oh, we're saving here. I didn't watch this one, because usually what I do, because I'm post-recording all this, is I watch the entire thing after I post-record it to see what I can what I can say and how I can transition and, and all of that. However, with this, I didn't watch it because um, at the current time, it's 20 minutes after 10 in the evening, and I really need to pre-upload this for tomorrow, Thursday, which is when you're going to, when this is going up, which is when you will see it, um, today, and, but I still need to render it on my computer, and that takes a little bit of time, and I need to do the sound and everything, so, I kind of had to rush into it, which usually would be fine, except that I've been at CCD all night, I've been away from home, so I haven't even had time to really think about this, I'm just jumping in. So if I seem quiet or whatever, it means I'm either on my computer or I'm trying to think what to say. Just to let you know. God damn it, mushroom. You're falling all over the place on me. Ugh. Let's go. Obviously, Toby is more than strong enough to defeat these enemies. Uh, yeah, so we, I want to get back to the topic at hand. So, we did perform in Children's Theater, and, um, the children loved it. However, they, for the first note, for the fourth, mm, for the fourth night, no, for the first night, um, day, it was actually during the tag time, it was actually during school, they voted the wolf innocent and the witch guilty. Let me repeat that again. They voted the wolf innocent and the witch guilty. They were the jury, they decided, but my moral reasoning apparently does not matter. Of course, I am incompetent. They can't take my testimony. It's ought to be stricken from the record. Sorry, I had to. Time to make your peace. What was he saying? Let's I was ranting, it. that was right. Um Pardon my language, but sometimes I just get into that state where I don't know what it, what to say. Oh, that's right. I said we were going to talk about last episode. Review of, of last episode. We go to Sky Jail. We find Ogden. Rajiv is literally kicking... Oh, Rajiv is cr kicking the crap out of him. We go. Morte kills him, and it s brings it out on screen. Let me talk about that, because I don't made. It, I know I said it last time, but I wasn't very clear enough. I said before that emotions run wild with this game. This one definitely brings out anger, sadness, fear, and sympathy. I like the fact that they brought those certain points out. And there are more to come. It was the first time they ever brought out brought up a death on screen so far. I I am Agen the Green and like the fact that I'm going around in circles. <laughs> In all the- yeah, there we go. In all the games that I've played so far, death has been brought up 
and, you know, it was in passing. Mochi is different. Mochi, you would expect her to do something like that. However, when she actually does it, you, meaning me, don't really know how to respond. Um... First time I saw it, I was speechless. But then... Got me thinking. Why did they do that? Why did they bring out that death? Plot point, yes. Showing her- showing that she breaks? Yeah, sure. I feel like there's a hidden message here. I feel- Not to be a, Not to get into the, into the psychological terms, but I feel like Sigmund Freud right now is analyzing what the meaning is. Not the sexual meaning, but the meaning overall. Anyway... Um... There's death, and then the father's killed. There's romantic interest, you saw it already, with Kyrie, and... Morte doesn't know it yet. Kyrie still has it in... Kyrie still has it... Bottled up somewhere. And, you know, she yells at him for it, yada yada, etc, etc. Um... Like oh, it, this is one of the points I wanted to make. I feel like these characters kind of define the different parts of human. Um, Morte is the part that really just wants to get down to business, wants to destroy. So a very violent type. Um, Topi is. I'll explain more later. Later, probably in the next episode. Ah, oh, there you are. We've been waiting. Here's the scepter. Yes, this is the one. Thank you, my boy. Your friendship is more than a little further past. Right, thanks. Goodbye. Goodness, that's quite a procession. Stop them! Ugh, not again. Felix Rex, why didn't you take them into custody? Oh, dear. Don't think I didn't try. It was all I could do to retrieve the scepter. <laughs> Find something amusing, Lady Rhea? Only recalling the spectacle I made, I'm sure. Mel played quite, made quite a fool of himself. As you say, I must be going. Keep up to fine work. I'm not saying anything. Ah! Lady Rhea, have you seen something? Seen? Seen what? Lady Rhea can glimpse into the future. She is a seer. Just so. What is it? I hope you see it soon. What? If not, you'll regret it. I don't understand. Regret what? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Let's go, Meow. Of course, my lady. She is a very... Strange... Well, no amount of answer will... Thought will yield that answer. Sorry, I got distracted. We have more pressing matters to concern ourselves with. Another 3D! Woo! So, where am I exactly am I taking you? 2v2, we have orders to slay the Azure Sea. V2 it is. Wait, did you say what I think you said? Oh, you did! You can't go around k killing Primal Lords, are you crazy? Easy, Hagen. Easy, I should be trying to help you, not stop you, not help you. We have the World Annihilation Front, you know. 
Right. I keep forgetting my friend is out to end the world. I know better to argue with you, but I won't help. I'm not going. Hmm. Do, do you, I need to remind you who just saved your life? That's not fair. I told you you'd have to work it off, having second thoughts. <sighs> Fine, I'll go, but I'm not happy about it. Objection noted. Now get the sparks moving. Alright, alright. I suppose I'm a, I, can, I can keep an eye out on you. I, I can talk you to do anything too absurd. Or so you think. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, V2. Uh, V2. V2. Remember this place. Um, we're actually going to end it here because it's going to be a whole different thing in the next episode. And it's a very large discovery. I will just leave it at that. I'll see you guys next time on Sands of Destruction. <laughs> I'm Beastcat100. I'll see you later.